Hello everybody and welcome back to Dayland where today Hello everybody and welcome back to Dayland where we have just made ourselves a super duper awesome magical staff of life staff of life so we're going to ring Lily back up and uh, tell her all about that. And then we're going to water our fields, I guess. We Fields are watered! There's the ones that are actually raining over here. Arco is so magical. Okay, they're all done. Right. Lily should be along. I don't know if um, going into that menu kind of messed it up. So we'll just push that again and see if she shows up. Might have to wait for the rain to go away. Maybe she she can't come in on her bug thing when it's all rainy. So I could harvest all these eggplants and that bellflower over there. But yes, I don't think we've got long to go on this at all. I think we we might even end up well unless suddenly another planet opens up like Ancora or something and then we've got loads more to do but it feels like it's coming to a close to me I think the amount of upgrades I've got left on the planet is pretty small as well so we bought all that silver off lock now that should mean now that I'll be able to build a gigantic water tower. So I'd like to build it here, I think. Ten meter range. Awesome. And I've got a new recipe for a level three bucket. Wonderful. And then I want to also build this big fire pit thing. I don't want to build it there. No, no, ah, ah. I'm gonna build it slightly over, like maybe here or something. And I've got the recipe for the torch. So those are the last couple of things I had to do. But right, we've got loads of enemies around now. We've got two whole enemies. Get out my axe. It's a big blue wasp. And one of those planty dudes. Right. Hello, sheep. Come on, back we go. You little flower eating monster. Come on. That's right, you follow me, you follow me, here we go. Back in your pen. Got some wool. Oh, don't destroy it. Feed, feed the straw. Need to make some more straw, I expect. So I'll make seven more straw and then I'll maybe plant a bit more wheat as well. Okay, so we were trying to call Lily to tell her about this staff. A little bite to eat as well. But it kept not working. So I'm going to just call her again. In fact, I don't know whether... Yeah, talk to... it does say talk to Lily again. So we definitely need to speak to her again. Lily! Hey, 
Here she is. I was worried then. I was like, oh, she's not coming. She's not coming. It's broken. But no, it was fine. Okay, well, I would like to firstly sell you these hibiscus flowers because just in case you run away. And also these bell flowers. Be a nice little bit of money there. So, the spell will turn your enemies into frogs. Yes, it's a very powerful spell. You must learn to use it wisely. It doesn't always work, but it's more likely to do so when the monster is weak. Uh -huh. Sure, I'll bear that in mind. I want to make sure you know how to use the spell well. Bring me three frogs that will result of the spell. Okay, I'll take care of the next monsters that appear. Turn three monsters into frogs and take them to Lily. Lily. So that's clearly how we get the frogs. So all of my quests now rely on monsters coming to the planet and me turning them into frogs. So how much does the frog spell cost? Six. That's not too bad. And I've got 27. So I've got enough for three frogs. I need to get more. And a frog. So four frogs. Four times six is 24 we have 27 crystals. We've got just enough crystals to do this. That crystal seems to be growing bigger now. Interesting. So yeah, hopefully it won't take too long for enemies to show up because it, we're pretty much relying on that at the moment to progress the storyline at all. I just need loads of frogs. Oh, you know what I could do once, um, lots of chops is gone. Why don't I take Moon over to the planet on Ancora and we'll turn loads of the Ancora and, uh, enemies into frogs. Because that's better than waiting for them to come along, isn't it? Yes, much better. So let's give Moon a little ring. Moon, Moon, do you want to come over? That's what you used to do, like, in the olden days. You'd ring someone and go, do you want to come over and play? When I was a kid. Nowadays, everyone texts each other. Much more sophisticated, I'm sure. So we're going to go to Ancora and we're going to see how much stuff we can turn into frogs. I should really have stood by the fire first. Oops. Do I have time to do that? Let me just, like, light this big fire pit and stand by it for a sec. I should be super quick at making me healthy again because we don't want to fight stuff if I'm unhealthy. Right, I'm healthy. Cool. Let's travel. I didn't think I'd be coming back here again, but it seems like I need to. For the enemies. For the enemies. So. We need to weaken them, so I need to get Moon to weaken them before I whack them with the frog spell. Apparently it doesn't always work. So, first things first, let's change to frog spell. And then we'll, we'll try and aggro him. Ow! Yes! Yes, we have a frog! So that's at least a frog for lock now. Okay. This is a good this is a good way to do it. Definitely. Right. We need four more. Sorry, three more. There's a total of four. So get him on me. Moon to whack him a couple of times and magic frog! Oh, okay, that didn't work. I didn't press the spell, I don't think, properly. Never mind. There are more that we can work on here. Come on, Moon, get him. Yay, frog number two. Right. This is going well so far. It's good to do it here and have Moon with me because she does most of the damage, which means that I don't have to worry about swapping between my weapons and stuff. 
frog number three. Now there's a couple of these guys. I don't want too many at once. So that's going to mess with things. Okay, now his friend's gone away. Come here. Come here. Come here. Run away, Arco. Run away. Run away. Ah. Okay, there's another frog. How many do we have now? Is that four? Oh, that was that was rough. Okay, I have enough to complete both quests, but I don't know if I maybe one one short. Four frogs. No, that's all we need. We need four frogs. Oh my goodness me. Oh, that was rough. I nearly died, but it's fine. We'll go back to Dayland and we'll heal up and it'll all be good. Thank you for your help, Moon. But yeah, just sitting there waiting for the monsters would not have been the, the, the funnest thing to do, so that definitely... What? No, I don't want you to cast a spell. I want you to go back to Dayland. I really needed to put my wand away, didn't I? My staff, sorry, it's not a wand. It's too big to be a wand. I know. I know. The magical staff. Oh, you're a big fat chicken. Let's stand by the fire and heal up. And then we'll give Lily a call. Tell her that we have finished. Healthy now? Yes. Oh no, there's a monster close by. Well, I can just, I don't need to turn them into frogs anymore. I just whack them with my axe. I can't see. Don't bat got me with darky vision or something. Night vision. Blindness. Yeah, that, that would probably be the one, wouldn't it? Blindness. Confusion, actually. Yes, it says at the top there. Confusion. Actually, I was pretty confused about what that spell was called. So, yes. Confusion. That works for me. Batwing and some dandelion seeds that I now don't need anymore. Okay, let's go find Lily. Tell her we have done what we have been asked to do. She sometimes wait, takes a minute, doesn't she? Must take a while for the little seeds to float through outer space, the little spores. And for her, her uh, bug friend to to smell them and come along. Do one more time. She's taking her time. Raining. Rain interferes with it, I swear. Okay, let's uh, go out to this bed and water the non existent crops we haven't planted. Maybe I should plant some crops. Never go wrong with planting some carrots. pieces of ten water in there that's pretty cool I should make my upgraded bucket shouldn't I and also I should make my upgraded torch there then we've maxed everything oh alcohol okay 
Two alcohol. Right, oh, that's not too bad. Eat a carrot. And then call Lily again. Right, do I have enough materials to make the alcohol? It's too late with that. Uh, to be fair, I'd left it for ages. Uh, workshop, alcohol, two. Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. So then we'll have upgraded all the stuff at our forge and we'll have finished. It's not like me to finish a game. Wow. Lily, come find me, please. There she is. I think she prefers to come in the daytime, too, possibly. And then we'll wait for Locke, his frog quest as well. With my new spell, it's easy for me to get the little frogs, Lily. Great, I can feel how the great power of the crystal flows in you. Your prince's heart and the heart of Dayland beat in unison. Now you can use two new prayers at the altar. The rain prayer and the crystal prayer. Thank you very much, Lily. You've taught me a lot. Hey, rain and crystal. It may well be that I had to get the level 2 staff and upgrade the shrine to be able to make use of that. I definitely think that I had something to do with it. So, um, I think that's 100% of Lily's chores now. Is it? Yes, it is. So, the only people we have left is um, Bram. We need to tell him when he comes back from holiday all about... All about Goliath. And give that frog in to Locke. Perfect. Very nice. So yeah, guys, that frog quest, no wonder I couldn't do it. I needed an upgraded staff. So it's not too surprising that I struggled with that. So I'm just looking forward to Locke coming along and, and then I'm hoping that I can maybe call Moon and see if she's got more quests for me because she will be the only one left with quests. You can probably tell I'm, I'm a little bit killing time right now. Which, to be fair, up until now, I haven't had it too much trouble with having to just sit and grind. It's, there's generally been things to do all the time. And I've really enjoyed that about this game. I'm looking forward to finding out the end. The end of the story and the end of my book. Pick up some mushrooms. Should we plant some trees, maybe? There's so much stuff we can plant. Good grief. I think some more pine trees would be good, actually. I've been feeding all the seeds to these chickadees. Oh, nice. Couple of meteorites. I'll grab those if I can find them. Usually it's not too bad finding things, but sometimes it can get a little bit like you're running around in a big circle. I seem to be running around in a big circle. Right, let's, uh, let's go and look for them properly. Around the other side of the planet. Okay, keep running, keep running. You'll find them. Keep running, little Arco. There we are. The meteorite has bought seeds that I already have. From Earth. Where is everybody? Come and see me. I need friends. 
I need friends. Yay, Locke's here. Let's pick up his frog. See, he must have heard me. Hmm? Here's the frog, but be gentle with it. Don't worry, I'll just turn it back into a tadpole. What's happening? Did it work? No, the potion had a multiplying effect. Now my balloon is full of croaking frogs. What bad luck? <laughs> His balloon's covered in frogs. That's so funny. All right then, Mr. Locke, with your froggy balloon. Is that everything now? No, it's not, apparently. So, let's see. No more chores for the next visit. I assume he will have something for me on the next visit, then. And then we're waiting for Bram to hand his... What well, I think will be Bram's last question. I think we've probably got one more for Bram and one more for Locke. And everyone else is finished. These were the first two I ever met, as well. And then, Moon. Has still got a lot to go. Interesting. I wonder if we've got another location to visit. But she seems to want me to finish everybody else's quest before she'll start with hers, I think. Carry on planting the... the carrots. So is there anything that I have not made or I have not got yet? Everything in the workshop I have got now. I've done everything in the forge. How about I make some thread and make a cloak of the wind? I don't know why I would need to, but... Might be a thing. Maybe it'll be something to do with my wind temple. Up on uh, Ancora. Maybe I'll have to go back to Ancora one last time. Oh, I wear it now. Nice. Cloak of the wind. Look at me. I've got music and everything for making that. I'm going to harvest the crops and then I'm going to have a sleep. I wonder if this has moved things on a bit. That music has definitely changed a lot. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, kitchen. Got everything. Lab. I am missing one potion in the lab. That, Other than that, I've done everything. Let's have a sleep. Okay, it was a normal sleep, like a like a normal boy sleep, but I've done everything now, everything except I have one more potion left to get, one more quest to take from Locke, one more quest to hand in to Bram, and we're good. Will we be able to do that in the next 20 minutes? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. In the meantime, I'll just hurry along my, my carrots, I guess. Seems like a little water goes a long way nowadays with this upgraded bucket. Oh man, really? It's raining now. I don't need no buckets. Cloud is the rainy cloud. I need whichever one is actually raining. Is it this one? This one. Yay, you're raining. Fill up my wells and my water tower and my crops and make them all ripe. Thank you very much. It's 
So I should be recording Porsche right now. I'm recording loads of this because I'm like, oh, oh, it's nearly at the end. I want to know what happens. Of course, I'll be releasing them one a day. Ha ha ha. But if you're on this one, it's probably the last one I'll be releasing or the second to last one, I imagine. It just depends on how long things take once they really start getting into the end game. There we are, all done. Lots of carrots for me. Yum yum. There are enemies close by. I need you. There's only one enemy. It's, it's a singular, not a plural. The single little mushroom dude. Right, next. Oh, meteorites, okay. And then it would be nice if Bram could come to see me. And then it would be nice if Locke could come to see me and give me his last quest. Which I hope will involve giving me pages of the book. Aha, yes. Not many places for you to actually land, are there anymore? Oh, we've got to watch out for bomb as well, okay. Food thief. What happened to you, Bram? You're so small. Oh, my vacation. I spent too much time relaxing in the sun and lost a lot of water. I suppose when you're a gelatinous blob like Bram is, um, it might cause you an issue if you go in the sun too much. Now I have shrunk and I'm not tall enough to cook at the stove in my kitchen. Oh, I'm going to have to make you a Goliath potion, aren't I? Aha, I have a solution for you to get back to your normal size. It's a potion Locke told me to make, which increases the size of all who drink it. That sounds interesting. I'll make a sample for you. Gulliver potion. Right, I sold my Gulliver potion earlier, but I may be able to make another one. We'll see. I think it involves a giant pumpkin, and I think I may have sold my last giant pumpkin as well, because I really needed money earlier, to be fair. I did. Um, giant pumpkin, 10 pine nuts and a glass bottle. Right, okay, so I can make a glass bottle. We'll start on this. It'll have to, it's gonna take me longer than. And we can go and pick up pine nuts off the trees until I've got 10. And in the meantime, we can plant a pumpkin and make it into a giant pumpkin. It's daytime, but we still have a moon. Oh, come on. Give me a little bit more. Just managed it with that one. Okay, I'm going to let that grow, and I'm going to um, plant some more pumpkins. Why not? I've got 68 carrots. I can eat those. I'm going to go and find some pine nuts. There's a couple. And again, I can probably water stuff to make it... Um, Grow it seeds quicker as well. Although that's the wrong thing. That one's got some pine nuts on it. I'm up to four now. Five. That's still going down really fast. So you've got 30 seconds left. Got a couple of minutes left. That'll be ready in four seconds. I 
ideally want more, like, to have some seeds in my inventory, just on the off chance that every tree in this, uh, in this patch gets destroyed by a fire or something, you know, a lightning storm or something like that. Are enemies close by? No, I'm picking up pine nuts. Go away. Nine. I'll have to get the tenth one later then. I'll go and get this enemy and then we will get the tenth one. Hello, giant flower. The agility's good. It makes me miss sometimes. Well, it makes the uh, enemy miss me sometimes, which is very, very handy. Ooh, blue tier seed. Nice. It's actually worth something. Okay, there is one more enemy left. It is a giant waspy thing. Insect wings. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And there's my last pine nut I need. Did you just eat that? You little scoundrel. Oh. Can't get the staff. Goliath? I don't think I need to see Goliath at all. I need to see Locke some more and Bram some more. I don't need to see Bomb either. But I'd rather Bomb didn't go and steal all my stuff. Come here, you. Come here. Oh, you little scamp. I'll get you on the way out. Bomb always goes in a straight line. As always, I will buy one combustible, just in case. nearly done. I can't believe that little chick ate my last seed. That really sucked. I'll go grab some water and chuck it over one of them. That's the last pine nut I need, so we'll go and harvest the giant pumpkin and that should be enough to make my potion for Bram. It's another seven minutes, so I'll chuck a couple of bits of water over it. It should not take too long. It's only one giant pumpkin per girl of a potion, right? It's two, it's two, it's two. Quick, turn one into a Oh, that one can't see the moon properly. Can this one see the moon? No, it does her reach. No. No. Haha. -ha. I just needed a little bit of perspective. Clearly. Yeah, stand back from it. You can get a little bit more um, reach on the turning pumpkins into giant pumpkins thing. And then this one will just be to replace the seeds. Right. This one's counting down nice and fast. That one's uh, run out of water, so we'll give that another quick squish. Squish of water! Yes! Yeah, it seems that these level 3 buckets knock about 5 minutes off the time. It's great. Two buckets of water and you've got a, a done... A done little pumpkin. Or giant pumpkin. It's no, by no means little at all. So some more carrots in as well. I am the carrot monster. Right, that should be enough to make the Gulliver potion now. Except I'm missing one pine nuts. How am I missing one pine? I should go to spawn. I got ten. Grr. Right, 
there's one. Just ready and waiting for me. I need to pick up any I see in the future though, just in case. Well, I think you can buy them from some people as well, so it's not the end of the world if something does happen to all the pine trees. Alright, so kitchen, laboratory, colour potion. Done! Bram, you will be back to normal size. And then just one last thing to do for lock, I think. Enemies are close by! Oh, let's go get them. But I'm kind of thinking that uh, it might be next episode we get this done because we're already at the 36 minute mark. I know. Crazy, huh? And we've still got a lot of quests to do for Moon. If we're only 78% through her quest line, we've got a lot to do for her. I can level up, apparently. Oh, is there only one monster? Okay. We'll take our level. See if there's anything else happens. Nope. Um, I would like a bit of agility. We've been training with Bomb and Yuki to be agile. I lost us a little bit. So once Brahm comes back, then we will be good. We will be able to hand him what can I do here? Um I completely forgot what I was doing there. Oh, I want to sow some seeds or something, some carrots. There we are. Never have enough carrots. So we're waiting for Bram, we're waiting for Locke. We're gonna bash that meteor. I guess that landed towards the end of last time. I don't know when that landed. Bram is back. This is good. We give him the Gulliver potion. And then when Locke comes back, we could ask him what his next quest is. Do you know what, Bomb? You can have the food. I don't care. you got to eat sometime, right? Here, have some Gulliver potion. Glug, glug, glug. Now drink a bucket of water. Glug, glug, glug. Good. Even though the effect of the potion will wear off, the water will keep your skin elastic. I'm back to my normal size! Arco, I don't know how to thank you. Oh yes, I know how. This is a chef's fork. I name you my official helper for everything you have done for me. My food has been stolen. Okay, so. A chef's fork. 100%. What do we do with a chef's fork? Made from silver, a gift from Chef Brown to his best collaborators. Maybe that like summons him or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh yes, the cloak of wind is like a special thing. Okay, so we're done with that now. And I think, yeah, I think we'll wait and see if Locke turns up and gives us anything to do. And that'll probably be the end of the episode there. I'm going to just grab any of these pine seeds I see as well, just in case. I need to start from scratch with planting the pine trees. I've got an awful lot, awful lot of them to the chickens for eggs. And I haven't used eggs for too much stuff, to be honest. I haven't really eaten the eggs or anything like that. I don't know if you even can. Milk. Feed the sheep. She doesn't run away. Carrots are all good. Bye, Bram. I think the issue at this point is that I don't have things to do in between visitors so much. Um, I do definitely want to see what the end of this is like. So we've done everybody's quests now except for Locke and for Moon. Locke can, I reckon, only have about one quest left. 
I reckon um, both Brahm and Locke had about 11 or 12 quests each to do. And the rest had slightly less. Or slightly easier ones to get completed. Like that frog one, I had to basically... I'm pretty sure to get the frog, I had to upgrade the shrine, upgrade my staff to level 2, which meant doing the ice quest, which meant having the invisibility potions and all the things that the Nadawe wanted off me. I had to finish the Nadawe's quest line before Lily would then give me the... And as I say, I then had to upgrade the staff, upgrade the shrine... Because I couldn't do the, the the quest line about upgrading the staff until I'd upgraded the shrine because one of the things that she gave me as a reward for that was um, extra spells. So, yeah. I could have done with that earlier though. The whole getting extra crystals thing would have been really useful. We haven't actually tried that spell though. Oh, there are enemies close by. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. There's three. Oh, wow. It's one of the crab ones. I prefer my axe, to be honest. These guys take a bit of a beating, actually. They are pretty rough and tough. They've got a hard shell. Okay, so we've got some crab, some crab claws. Um, there's another crab. There's loads of them. Oh my goodness, they come in threes. How dare you. How dare you hurt me! Ah, come here. Getting caught on all my tree roots. I have to stand by my fire. So I'm very hurt now. You always get five crab claws. I don't think that that's an accident. Am I, am I better now? I'm standing by the fire. Why is it not healing me? My moon is back. I wonder if she actually has a quest for me now. Good grief. Why doesn't that fire heal me? That's so weird. Here, right. Hey. Hey. What a nice cape! Oh, I had to get the cape. That was I. Okay. Now you look like a real prince of the wind. Thank you. The Interstellar Patrol has made advances in the investigation of the minor planets. Apparently, there's an old tale that tells the story of one of the princes. We've found two pages of the story. I have a few more pages. Let me see. It's an interesting story, but we need the rest of the pages to understand what happened. I'll try to find them all. Great, it'll help us to complete the investigation. I think there'll be one... She's got two pages there. Locke will probably have the last one when I do his last quest. Hey. Quickly, Prince. Prince? How do you know that, Yuki? What's happening? And Moon? Why have you got her ship? There's no time for explanations. The pink-haired one is in danger. Get ready for a big challenge and board moon ship. Right, I'm not ready at the moment at all. Um, I think I need to do Locke's quest first as well. So I'll call moon back later. If I can. She seems to just be there at the moment. Look, and I'm not getting any health. Let's have a look at the book, actually, because I want to see what what new things we've got in there. I'll just skip through the ones we've done before. Because we know the story up to a certain point. Okay, so we know the respect. He revealed the location of the planet. I waited for my arrival. Three days later, a shadow... Covered the sky. There's a missing page. And a missing page. And a missing page. Oh, right. So she's not giving me the pages yet. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, 
I'm gonna light this fire. No, I'm not going. I'm gonna light this fire. See if this helps my. I don't understand what's wrong with that fire pit. That's weird. It wasn't making my health go up, which I kind of needed to go on an adventure. Board the ship. I guess we're traveling. Traveling with Yuki. Let's go. Okay, where are we? Oh my goodness. What is this place? I slipped onto Moon's ship, which was heading for Dayland. Then I heard on the radio that they entrusted Moon with a spying mission. Well, this strange ship was heading for your planet. Moon went to investigate. When I saw that she didn't come back, I was afraid and came to seek your help. Stay here, Yuki. I'm going to see if I can find her. Be careful, Arco. Take these potions with you, just in case. Also, like, Moon probably shouldn't have been there. It should have been, like, Yuki stood there. I don't know what's going on there, but never mind. Thanks, Yuki. Find Moon. Okay. So this is a whole new place. Wow. It's very exciting. bunch of like spiders and stuff okay they don't seem to be hurting me the eyes though spider seems all right I oh, know it's not okay it's fine oh here's moon Arco what are you doing here it's very dangerous this is the demon ship that attacked us in Ankora. Look, I found the last pages of the story. The demon was once a prince. Now he's under the control of the Dreamcatcher spider. Oh. What does that spider want? The Dreamcatcher is an abominable being that looks for the minor planets to consume them. She wants to destroy Dayland to steal the power of the crystal. If the ship arrives at your planet, the demon will know its position and pass it on to her. Oh, wow. We have to stop it before that happens. Right, new pages. So how much is it complete now? It's 10 out of 11 pages, so we've got most of it. I'm just flipping through because we've read a lot of this previously. Shadow over the sky. Oh, sorry. You, said the voice, which didn't sound anything like as sweet as it did in his dreams. You will be my prince of nothingness. And the shadow consumed the planet and all its magic. And page 11. The end. Wow. So we've got one more page to get. Can we go this way? The moon's coming with us. Okay, right, okay. We're going to go and beat up everything else on this ship, I guess. A little bit bad that I never did Locke's last quest. I guess everything's a bit harder now because the moon's with me. Oh, confusion. I hate confusion. Confusion sucks. Kill it, moon. I need to eat some noms. I'm gonna have my lollipop from Yuki. That helped a great deal. What are these? They look like we need to go in them, but I guess not quite yet. Just keep running around, I guess. Oh. Run away and let Moon shoot some of them as well, just to save a bit of my own. My 
own health because my health uh, will only last so long. Got some stuff to pick up as well. Oh, I run! Oh, man! Oh, the spider! It's in the wall. How am I supposed to get its loot when it's in the wall? Man. Hello. Arco, the prince of nothingness. Don't call me that. There's no sense in resisting. Soon she will know where your minor planet is and there's nothing you can do. Join us, Prince of Nothingness, and put your magic to her service. I will never join you. Dayland is my home, and I will protect it with my life. Moon, between the two of us, we can beat him. Yes. All right, then. I don't know why it's giving me PlayStation control things. Right. Every so often his bubble pops and we can go in and get him. Oh gee, this is bad. Ouch. Keeping an eye out for when he... Pops. Oh, I can't get to him. Do I need some magic? I don't have any magic. Okay. He sometimes stops it. He's vulnerable. He's a little bit vulnerable when he does a spell. Good to know. Missed him! Go! Go, go, go! Because I'm taking damage every time he does something like that. Needs to stand by his bubble, basically, and eat food and. waiting for him to do spells basically because he's vulnerable when he does spells and I have a lot of strength nearly there nearly there with him come on One more, I reckon. You're no match for me, brother. Oh. Come with me and she will pursue you with great power. Moon, I think I know how to beat him. If he was a prince, he must have a crystal heart. Shoot at the stone in the mask, it's his heart. Oh, man. I need another healing potion. There we are. Thank you for all the potions, Yuki. I'm annoyed that I skipped through that text, but you guys hopefully can just go skip back and, and look at it if you want to see what it said. Come on, I'm just mashing X here. He's weak, Moon, come on. My heart! It's not possible! I think that that should have been a... That was a PlayStation control for Triangle. And I think I needed to be hitting it, like, to make Moon shoot. Uh, I managed to get it. I think it was Y or something. 
I always forget which way around the PlayStation controls are because it's not like on my controller. Anyway, my heart, it's not possible. Arco, the shadow of the Dreamcatcher is far reaching. You cannot free yourself of her. The only way is to face up to her or perish. I will never let my planet Dayland fall. You're brave. Seek the power of our brothers. Three princes before you did. Oh, sorry. Three princes before you did so and released the magic of their planets. Three other princes before you failed and we were overcome by the spider. Today at last I feel... Free. Oh, freedom. You've got on new pages from the story The Prince. So everybody, that seems to be the end of that. So we have finished Dayland. We've finished all the main story quests and I'm happy to leave it there. So I hope you all very, very much enjoyed the series. And um, if you did, then please obviously leave me a like below and we'll have to find something awesome to replace this series but i massively massively enjoyed it so thank you all for watching and i'll see you all soon but in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome